Hi, this is Sophie. In this video, I would like to show you the princess face painting design that I usually do on little girls who don't have a lot of patience to stand still for very long. And you will see that after practicing a little bit with your split cake, you'll be able to do it in five minutes or less. The first step is very easy. I'm using a light pink color on a sponge and I'm uh, covering the eyelids and going up towards the temples in a pointy shape as if I was going to do a butterfly except that I'm not covering the under eye area with it. I'm then taking a light purple color that I'm applying on each side of the mask trying to blend with the pink a little bit um, because you know pink and purple are the number one favorite colors for girls in this age group. For the next step, you will need a split cake or one stroke cake. Um, you can buy them ready made and I will put a list of online shops in the description box below or you can make them yourself as I did for example to do this one. I showed this in a previous video so feel free to watch it by clicking on the link if you would like to. You will also need a 3 4 inch flat brush or square brush like this one to load and apply all the colors at once. Then just load your brush. I also showed how to do that in a previous video, um, so I don't want to repeat everything in case you've seen it already or you already know how to do this. In case you don't, you can click on the link and watch it now or a little bit later. To make it easier for you to see, I will show you the brush strokes on this practice board here that I actually bought recently and I really love it. It's so practical and I will tell you all about it in another video. But for now, let me show you the different uh, brush strokes that you will need to practice for the princess mask. I will start with the middle of the forehead, which is the most visible area with what I called in my previous video the flame stroke. This might look a little bit tricky but um, I detailed step by step how to do this in actually the same video where I explained how to load the brush. Um, the other strokes are quite simple. They are quite regular petal strokes. Um, the only difficulty is to make them once going towards the right and once going towards the left. And if you're right-handed, you will find it a little bit more difficult to do them on the left side of the face. But this is why these practice boards are so great, because you can just erase it and start again, do it a hundred times if you want before you're ready to paint on the child, and then uh, you will be an expert before you know it. So I am back here with my little model. And as you will see, um, the shapes will look a lot bigger on her than they did on the practice board, which is normal. She's a small girl with a small face, so I have to adapt. I will simply put four petals on each side instead of five so that the design uh, fits to her smaller cute face and doesn't look too overwhelming. And once you're finished on each side with the petal shapes, you can just flick your brush towards the bottom uh, on the cheek area to bring a little bit more interest. And as you've probably noticed, I use the tip of my finger to pull the light blue color towards the inside of the mask in order to soften the edges, but also uh, to fill in the areas that were maybe not completely covered with the brush. All little princesses love glitter, so I'm using my soft uh, puffer bottle to sprinkle glitter all over this mask before the makeup is dry. Make sure, however, that your model is able to shut her eyes and keep them closed for a little while before you do this step. These um, little jewels here are really great because they stick on the face without needing to add extra glue, which is practical for small kids. I'm going to put in the description below where I got them. And I'm just adding one in the middle of the forehead and one on each side of the face. If your model is getting restless at this point, you could absolutely leave it as it is. But if you want to continue, you can add some teardrops with a small round brush number three and some white face paint in between the petal shapes or over them. Uh, if you're not comfortable just yet with your teardrops, um, just for information, I have another video showing how to make them. I then finish up the mask with um, the usual white dots that I add here and there. And that's it, the little princess is ready for her big day. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. Thank you very much and have a great day.